Good morning, good morning. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about how to add layers in Photoshop. And I'm gonna go over a couple of different ways to do it, and I will tell you right off the bat, the quickest way to do it is to just hit Control or Command if you're on a Mac, J. That's it. You just gotta have the darn thing selected and then hitting J, and I'll show you on the screen. All you do is, <laughs> it helps to have it actually have it. <laughs> I was on the wrong window. All right, Control J, there you go. All right, so that is the quickest way to do it. Have something selected and then just Control J your heart out. All right, so I'm gonna show you some other ways to do it. Um, again, Control J is going to be the quickest way to do it. But I wanted to show you other ways to do it because sometimes you'll find when you're in your workflow, like when you're actually kind of going through, that sometimes the stuff is just more accessible because it's right there, it's in front of you, you're already moving the mouse, that kind of thing. And it's just something to have in the back of your head. You probably will use Control J 99% of the time. But this is, sometimes some of these other ways will again give you quicker access to more options like changing your your um, screening or changing your opacity or anything like that. So just kind of things to keep in the back of your mind. All right, so first things first. Generally, like if I've got, um, let me give you a really good example. Let's say I'm trying to add a bunch of bubbles. Those are not bubbles, those are rectangles. That's what I wanted. All right, so let's say I'm trying to add a whole bunch of bubbles to this to the screen, right? Let's go ahead and make one bubble. Well, now I've got one and I wanna make more, so I hit V on my keyboard and then I hold down the Alt key on the PC, I believe it's Option on Mac, and then I just move it to a new spot. And you'll see on the right there, it's creating more layers. And what's nice about this is you can kind of move stuff on the fly like that. And all I'm doing to select the individual layers is I'm hitting control and then selecting and see how it jumps around to the different layers. And then I can move my bowls around to where I want them to be. Um, so that's generally how I would use this in like a normal workflow is I would use the alt to make the new layer. And then I would use control T to transform it to whatever I need it to be and then move it to where I want it to be. And that's kind of how you would do this. This is also really useful if you have a pen tool, uh, like, a, like for a Wacom tablet it makes it a lot easier to do it this way too. So your left hand is the one actually making all the, the commands and your right hand's the one that's writing your bubbles where you want them to be. So that's one way to do it. Um, and I select all and control G to group them. And then I can actually also use the same command for duplicating layers for duplicating groups. So if I hit alt and move it down, look at that, isn't that fancy? And I move it over here and maybe like do, Boom. All right. So there you go. Right. I've added some interest to this page. Now, the next thing I want to show you is, is that there is an old school way. Of course, the original way to duplicate a layer is you highlight the layer, you go up to layer and you go to duplicate layer on the screen. You're going to see where you can name it to what you want it to be. We'll just put in some gibberish and then you can select the document. If you want it to open up in a new document, or if you want it to be in the one you're working on, which in this case is just my stock photography one. And I say, okay, you put it in the stock photography and it puts it above the layer you're working on. That's important because sometimes when they look alike, they get nested and then you find you're working on the wrong one. So just keep that in mind. Another little neat tool is I always tend to make my copies, if they're exact duplicates, a different color just by right clicking and then selecting a different color. And then I visually know that it's different. So just a little organizational tip. The next thing is if you want to make a duplicate, you select it again you drag it down to your create new layer icon down here. And it will, again, will create a new layer. Um, if, if this is useful, if you're working down here and then you're just popping it onto it, sometimes if you're working really closely with the mouse or a pen tool, it just seems a little easier just to, to do that. Um, the next thing is, is you can actually do it from the layers panel. Go up here and then you go down to, oh, I lost it, duplicate layer. And then again, it's the same thing as going up here to get the same dialog box hit OK, there's your new layer. Then you can also go to right click, typical layer, I think I may have already talked about that, same thing. Um, and then there's one more, there's one more, I know there's one more, oh goodness. Oh, I wanted to show you how to do multiple layers. So let's say I need to update these guys, right? And maybe a bubbles layer, right? I got all these and I know I'm gonna to need to make a new layer because I'm gonna to need to use these elements again, maybe on a different scale or something. Again, you can hit Control J, and it'll duplicate them all. 
while they are still highlighted, may I suggest you do also do another control G, put them in their own group. And that way they're all going to move as part of their own group. All right. So that's it for now. I hope this was helpful through in a few extra tips, not just the, the copying, but this is kind of how a general workflow works, right? Like you want to be able to access the most common feature, which is duplicating your layer, making a copy of your layer, but also have it be convenient to where you are on the screen because that little microsecond of doing it here or doing it up here or hitting control J, those add up over an entire eight hour workday. So I hope this has been helpful. Please give it a like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.